with the Olympics now just about a year away. These are an important world championships of gymnastics at Arrowhead Pond in Anaheim, California. After one of six rotations, Russia off the high bar, leading the United States by a tiny amount after their efforts on the floor exercise. Now, so far, we have seen some good and some not so good. Ting Haibin of the Chinese team, as they move to the pommel horse, put up a fabulous score of 9.712. That was some good news for the Chinese men. Chao Qin, 9.237, however. That was one of the down moments for the Chinese men. And remember, as we said, three men up, all three scores count. You put up a bad score, you are going to keep that bad score. And this was disastrous for the Chinese team, a 9.237. Believe it or not, this guy, in my opinion, he could have been somewhere in the 9-9 range. He is that good. Alexei Namov, a man of few mistakes, made one there in floor exercise, stepping out for the yellow flag and receiving a 9.212. So a bad misstep for the leaders. And now we go to the story of Takahiro Kashima of Japan. This was in the good news department. In spite of the touches, he would receive a score of 9.637. So Japan moves into the picture. As now does the United States on the pommel horse. This is Morgan Hom, and for a gymnast like him, you have to talk about selective memory. Right. You want to remember some extension. things yeah. and you want to forget some others. And he wants to forget the qualifying the round. The That's for sure. He was doing a fantastic exercise, so gets to the end of his routine, okay. and he totally misses his last hand, and he just plummets to the ground. A little bit scary, actually, came down almost right on his head. Very uncharacteristic. Never seen him make that mistake before in my life. You're Tiger Morgan. He, he said that he was so tired physically, he was very laid up for the USA on floor exercise and then had to go up relatively early for the pommel horse and was just dead tired. And by the time he got to the end of his routine, he had nothing left. Well, Stacy Maloney said that he is a real team player. When it does come down to the crunch, he will get the job done. Little bit of a struggle on that one pommel, but held on tight. Just his scissor element, and now here is the dismount. Endurance, always a factor on pommel horse. He got the job done. No problem today. Stay on, buddy. You do it. Let's do it. In an animal. A very different air about these United States men compared to Sydney, Australia, and with good reason. You see just a little bit of a struggle here. The legs come apart slightly. Right there. Not going to be a, a large deduction. Still going to get a very good number. 9.487 to Brett McClure. He told me that everything in my entire career has been a buildup towards this moment. Competing at the 2003 World Championships. And although we're on the second event for Team USA, this is his first event most athletes really don't like starting on the pommel horse. It's very tricky oh, and bad right from the start. Remarkable that he was able to keep going there. You know, Brett put up a big score in the first day, 9 5 And now an another struggle. It's a shame. Sometimes you walk out there on the floor and you go up to the pommel horse in a meet like this, so much pressure, you can't, you can't even feel your arms. You get down and you say, I, I don't know what happened. I couldn't, I couldn't feel my arms. But he did stay on. How does that lead to his legs coming apart? Well, you know, when you stop feeling your arms, it's, you, you get so paranoid about that because that's obviously what's keeping you on the horse that you, you lose focus a little bit. You lose some of that tension, that body tightness that you need to keep those legs together. Morgan Hom to Paul Hom as Brett McClure 
gets a 9.112. And again, now the United States is going to keep that score. It's no, you know, four athletes out there keep the best three. It's three, and all scores stick. So now the pressure falls on Paul Hom. He knows the score. Yeah, I mean, that right there legitimately cost the USA five tenths of a point off of their team total. Paul has a great swing on Pommel Horse. Very extended body. He's a little bit off, but Watch managing this, to keep those legs together, though. Look at the speed here. It's fantastic. Love it. Does one of the best scissors in the competition. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was that was almost shades of Morgan from day one. A little bit off-centered on that dismount. They are competing and performing like twins here today. <laughs> they are. So now the United States wraps up on Pommel Horse. There'll be another switch. Paul Hom gets an even 9.50, and we do the math, and there is a tie for third as Russia falls. Russia and Japan are even. The United States is now still in second, but over four tenths behind China. And the Chinese men have moved to the rings for the next rotation, and they can be absolutely spectacular when airborne, as they will be in Anaheim after this. The reigning Olympic gold medal men of China have moved to the rings. Third rotation. That will bring us to halftime. Lee Chel Pung. He performed in floor exercise and scored a 9.2. Chinese men have grabbed the lead here. Being strong is the most critical component to still rings, and that he is. And of course, all these strength elements have to be held for a mandatory two seconds. But believe it or not, Al, it's not just the guys that you see on the floor that are strong from China. They have the reigning all-around champion, Feng Jing, from 2001. He made the trip here, but he's not good enough to make the team. Once again, that's pretty darn good. Full twisting double laid out somersault. They have much more confidence than they used to have. Oftentimes they looked a little bit out of their element when it came down to the pressure situations. Tim, I have to say that that probably has a lot to do with finally winning an Olympic gold medal. <laughs> In 1996, they were unquestionably the best team in the world. They fell apart. The Russians won that competition. They finally got their gold in 2000. This man right here, one of the main reasons why. And the score for Li Chaopong is a very impressive 9.6. So China looks to put a stranglehold on the top spot. For the team gold medal, Wang Zhu. Also a member of that 2000 Olympic gold team. And this, of course, is his first event of the competition. From the six athletes, they choose their top three on each event. Coach Huang Yubin actually feels that the three off three scores count benefits the Chinese team. They've had a lot of injuries. Now, Tim, we see some guys who go to the Iron Cross and it's effortless. You can't tell in their face that there's any strain. That was like I did. Oh, exactly. <laughs> and then some guys have a little bit of a, you know, a neck strain and their face vibrates a little bit. Does that count against them? It's part of the aesthetics, right? It is part of the aesthetics. And it, the judge really shouldn't take a deduction for that, but it makes an impression. And so when they go to scratch something on a piece of paper, like that, that's a perfect example right there. On some gymnasts that maybe looked like they were struggling and fighting with these horrendous faces throughout, he bends over on that landing. They may choose to not take the deduction on this guy. So 
talk about strength no matter how many times you see a gymnast do some things like you would see on the still rings like this right? close your mind <laughs> just try this put push the couch out of the way make sure the coffee tables way in the corner and just put your arms on the ground lift your legs off and lean forward it is so incredibly difficult this is a leaning to a cross named after the of course famous olympic gymnast that's a big score that's gonna help china stay on top nine six six two across the floor now to someone who's got to be feeling a little bit of pressure <laughs> 